Hello everybody, my name is Nerdy Lover and welcome back to another episode of our Ipswich Town save here on Football Manager 22. Today we are taking on Portsmouth in the league, third place versus second. And as you can see, maybe from our league form here, things have not exactly gone to plan. Since we were last recording, at the end of January we beat bottom place Gillingham four goals to one before beating Doncaster two goals to nil and I thought we were turning things around but very quickly in the first half MK Don's Mohamed Aissa picked us apart and actually Aissa is now a guy that we're looking maybe to sign? I mean at this level, good pace, good physicals, his, uh, his decision making is not amazing but he's solid, the Sudanese striker you can get him for as little as 170k. But I digress. We're going to keep scouting him. Next up, we thought we turned a corner again with Joe, Joe Pickett's double header against Burton. And then we played three teams at the bottom of the league. We played 21st place Cheltenham, drawing one goal apiece. We took the lead, but we couldn't actually finish them off. And the 10 men of Cheltenham Town ended up getting an equaliser in the 79th. We then played another team in the relegation zone, Morecambe. We dropped a goal behind. Uh, they defended valiantly as we uh, peppered them with shots, but we couldn't get more than one goal as we drew another game one all. Then we played Fleetwood. Uh, lack of concentration, dropped an early goal, and um, yeah, had to, had to salvage it at the end in front of the 2,000 fans at Highbury Stadium. So we're hoping for things to be a little bit better here in the games against Portsmouth and Oxford. And let's have a look at the lineup. So we're going to go with our 4-2-3-1 system. We've got Curtis Walton in goal because uh, Vaclav Holodaki has uh, broken his collarbone. He's out for two months, which is essentially the rest of the siege season. And therefore we have Christian Walton. Not a terrible goalkeeper for this level. On loan from Brighton. He's played okay for us. Um, he's been playing quite regularly in the under-23, so, so luckily he has the match sharpness. But in the two games he's played for us, he's conceded, so that's not great. Uh, we also have a double injury with uh, Matt Penny and Miles Kenlock at left back. So we're bringing on Bailey Clements, the young fullback. Uh, he's been, again, a bit like Curtis Walton. He's done okay. He's played in a couple of the cup games and a lot of games for the under-23s this season. But um, that's definitely the weakness in our team. His partner in crime at fullback is Jan Odenassian, Wolford and Edmondson in the middle, Harper Morsley. Harper and Morsley in the middle of the park with Selena, Fraser and Burns the next line in front of them. And up top on his own, our top goal scorer for the season, Macaulay Bon. With our patchy form of late, I wouldn't mind a draw against Portsmouth, although three points today wouldn't guarantee automatic promotion but it would be a huge step towards that as we're running into the final stretch with eight games left after this one today fraser tackled by jacobs but donassian can get a cross in and selena's header was cleared off the line and bazanu has the ball in his hands an early chance for the town selena free kick from range it's curling but it was never going in it was started so wide of the goal but we're going to have a corner. Quite a strong first 10 minutes from the town. Two highlights and some stats to go with it. Selena couldn't beat the first man, which was Marquis. And that's into the highlight. Total domination is the order of the day. 13 shots to 7 with an XG of 0.5. Portsmouth got their first goal in the 40... Portsmouth got their first shot in the 41st minute. The question is, how do we capitalise from this? No one's played poorly, but no one's played exceptionally so far. Let's We're playing well, let's just not get caught out. I'm going to drop our line height off a little bit. And try to make us a bit more direct. And take work out into the box off, because that may have caused us some problems. Portsmouth's goalkeeper takes it long in search of Marquis, but Wolferden heads it down to Selina. Macaulay Bond tackled by Thompson and Raggett and Portsmouth can get back on the ball here. It was back to the play initially. He finds Robertson. Brown. Dribbling through the middle here. Pressure from the town defender. Jacobs on the left. Ball over the top to Marquis. Walton was nowhere near to being in position. 
that's so disappointing. We've been playing really well. A ball over the top from Jacobs. Okay, the... Oh, my gosh. The goalkeeper's just nowhere... Oh, it's horrible positioning. Burns. Cross in. Handled by their goalkeeper. Bazanu. Goes long. Looking for Marquis. Can he score again? He wins the header against Edmondson. Flips it into Jacobs. Who goes back the way. Ogleville, Aziz, Thompson, Brown, Hackett... And Portsmouth are looking a lot stronger in this second half already. Play resets, but they're playing some nice passing football here. There's the ball forward through to Jacobs. He's through on goal, but he's completely missed the shot. That's a nice warning shot there. And a good let off for the town. Right, this second half hasn't gone to plan at all. I think we're going to go for two up top. Need to get a goal back. We're going to go Piggott and Bon as the uh, chaps up top. Get those crosses in early. Um, I'm going to change our mentality from positive to attacking. More direct, higher tempo. I think that's how we want to play it. Thompson to Brown, the oncoming fullback. Cross goes in towards Jacobs, but the hands of Walton were strong there. He gets it away quickly, looking for Bon, but it's coming straight back, reads through the middle to Marquis. It's going to be two. What a save from Walton. Hipsters aren't out of this yet, but we're trying our best to bottle it. Bon playing a 6-4. We'll swap him around for Pigger and bring on Connor Chaplin as an advance forward. We'll also push Burns and Selina higher up the pitch and bring on and we'll keep our powder dry for the last sub. Oh my goodness, we've lost. Portsmouth have escaped Portman Road with three points. A real let off for them. We dominated the first half, there's no doubt of that. And we just didn't come out of the dressing room in the second half. We, uh, I don't think we even produced a highlight for ourselves. We didn't even play that badly. It was just a subpar performance against one of the better teams in the division. So, I guess we didn't deserve any points there. Marcus scored his 20th of the season. He's been tearing up so far at this level of the English game. And we're going to have to move on to Oxford to try and reclaim some of our dignity. Without a win in our last four games... Surely we can beat 15th place in the table, Oxford United. The lineup for today, Walton in goal, Kenlock and Vincent Young at fullback, Wolferden and Edmondson at the centre-halves, Carolyn Morsey, the two pivots, Selina Chaplin and Burns as the next three, with Joe Piggott on his own up top. Okay, nice early goal to set the tempo, and then let's get out of here with three points. Come on, lads. Okay, okay, Burns, Chaplin, cross to the back post, intercepted by the goalkeeper, Stevens, and he allows the yellow shirts to get forward. He goes long, and Vincent Young misses the chance. Holland, 1-2 of his teammate, and it's just wide. Set piece, Selina, in-swinging ball. Looking for Joe Piggott, goal number 11 of the season. That's the early goal we needed. So we had a little bit of a scary just now. But hopefully, we're going to be able to continue this form and stop the rot that we've experienced since the end of January. Carroll on the left with the left footed in swinger. Another set piece for us, but it's cleared away this time by Oxford. Chaplin believes there's still a chance as he goes to the left byline. Cross into the back post. Burns challenges Thornley and they get it away. Vincent Young, the right back to Burns, the right winger. Sam Morsey from deep. Carroll to Burns. He scores his fourth of the season. Wes Burns has been off the boil recently, but he might be back to goal-scoring form with a sumptuous strike past Stevens. It's a quick 2-0 lead for Ipswich. Now we just need to hold on to it. 
turns and then strikes in one fluid motion. Goalkeeper could barely see the ball. You gotta love it. Portsmouth also two goals up at half time, so we're just having this game to keep pace with them. Um, I'm gonna make one change at the interval. Connor Chaplin's not been incredibly involved. We're gonna to drop to this Barcelona system and bring Lee Evans on as a uh, deep line playmaker on defend, which means Morsey can go now box to box. Just a little bit more conservative from us to keep our two goal lead. Stevens looks long for his man. He's over the top of our back line. It's Whitaker. And it's a good block from Wolferdon because once again, Christian Walton is completely miles out of his goal. He's not even a sweeper keeper in this system. Brannigan and close heads it over. Lovely stuff. Full time here, two goals to nil is the score to Ipswich Town. After about 75 minutes, we just shut the game down, stopped going forward, started playing for set pieces and wasting time to escape the Casa Marina with three precious points. So that puts us eight points from the drop and five points from automatic promotion. So uh, we've still got some work to do here. Here we are, it is March the 20th, it is Youth Intake Day. And we have a good intake. Okay. Looks like we have one elite talent, Randy Junior Baptiste, an English left winger who can also play as a number 10. The 16 year old is six foot 152 pounds. He's all right, and he can improve it as a player. You've got to like the 14 determination, 16 flair, 16 bravery, 16 technique. That'll do. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll see how he gets on in the trial game and uh, look to offer him a contract. A lot of these... Um, we'll probably end up signing most of these guys, but a lot of the... Um, Potential gets better once they've had their trial game, I've noticed. Um, that's only from my Barcelona save I mean, on YouTube and my Michelin save, um, which I do in my spare time. Um, I mean, we've got some top talents. We've got some four-star potential players, some three-and-a-half-star potential players, some good talents. I like to see different nationalities. So Sebastian Downey from Bar that's Barbuda? Barbados, damn. Okay, um, lots of English players. We've actually got a Spaniard, Pepe. He doesn't look great, <laughs> but we'll be signing him up anyway. We'll be signing all these guys, we'll offer them youth contracts. I did see another one there. There's a Thai player here. Kittisak. Charosenensil. 16 determination, 18 bravery, 18 natural fitness. Definitely needs to improve as a footballer though. Lovely jubbly. So the scores have been announced. Benny Erzman has been upgraded to an elite talent. Rande Junior Baptiste. Looking solid. Up to £500,000 of value. That's amazing. To £600,000 of value for Benjamin Erzman, the Nigerian. The, excellent. As I mean, as part of this save, we want to get our... Young players brought through, develop the best ones, and get them time in the starting eleven. You know that's what Ipswich Town have always done, and that's one of our uh, one of our seasonal one of our save objectives, which can be found in the description down below. Brenton Richards. I mean, none of these guys are blowing me out of the water. The, obviously, we've got the two elite talents, but I mean, these sixteen-year-olds are going to grow two, two two points every season you know they could be solid for the uh, in the championship um probably won't make it to the premier league level got slovenian here zoran babic 16 determination 16 work rate that's what you love to see from a central midfielder so he's gonna be working hard in there sebastian downey from barbados only three determination is a bit of a letdown 18k of value he may just be a training cone for some of the more talented players in the in the roster um so yeah all in all decent decent little intake glenn bacon what a name 
Doesn't look very good, but he's got a nice name. So all these guys are going to go shooting straight into our under-18 squad, and we're going to look to develop them over the coming years. So all in all, a pretty good youth intake day. Um, let's think about where we want to go next. So we've got a little bit of a break until our next set of games. Uh, there's an international break. We've got some winnable games, and these games really should be 12 points there. I think we'll come back for fourth place Wigan and top of the league crew. And if it's necessary, 12th place Charlton on the final day of the season. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. This has been episode 7 of our Ipswich Town save here on Football Manager 22. My name has been Nerdy Lover, and have a lovely day.